everyone, today we're talking about laboratory glassware. We already talked about our uh, glass pipettes, so now we're going to talk about the other glassware that we have in this lab. So on the left here, you see volumetric flasks. These are used in creating some kind of standard or reagent where you need high accuracy because they, like their volumetric pipette cousins, are only calibrated to one volume as noted by that dash. So each of them has a dash since this is red. See, now you can see that line here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this line right here, that is where it's accurate up to. Anything outside that range would not be an accurate volume. Whereas the rest of these items over here are graduated. Okay, so this is a Erlenmeyer flask. These are Erlenmeyer flasks. And we have ranging varieties there of the amount of volume. These are graduated cylinders here in the middle. Okay, we have a variety of volumes there, and these are two beakers. This one I've been using in some videos, that's why it's got some green water in there. Uh, so these are not very accurate, and you wouldn't really use them for anything other than holding something uh, that you might be taking from. So like I did with the green water, uh, you could put... Uh, something that you're going to need to take from making accurate um, accurate measurements using maybe a pipette you could just store a large amount of fluid in there for that in the classroom lab that we have uh, we do a we do an exercise where we use a graduated cylinder to measure the accuracy of the volumes that are coming out of the different pipettes that we use. Now, the important thing with all of this glassware is that you want to remember to use the size that most befits the volume that you're looking to measure. So if I wanted to measure five milliliters of something and I wanted to use a, a graduated cylinder, should I use this guy in the back? where it's 100 milliliters and in between, you know, the lowest, the five would be right down here at that middle. Is that a good idea? Or should I go to the smaller one that only goes up to 10? And the answer to that question is you'd use the smaller one. So you want to go to a piece, a type of glassware that ends up having more accuracy if and only if it is closer to that volume um, or the range of volume that you're looking in. So using a large one to measure a small amount would not provide as much accuracy. Okay, so what do we do when, uh, when we're done using whatever it is and we need to clean it? Well, just like this one needs to be clean, we'll take it back to the sink Okay, and there is a there's a sink. We already have a couple of beakers in there. We have detergent that is under the sink. Okay, so right here we've got detergent. Um, it's only under this one sink because this is the only place we clean our glassware. So you put a little bit of detergent into the beakers or one beaker, so you can pour a little bit. I'm scared there's gonna be a lot coming out here. Put a little bit in there, and you use warm water. Make sure the water gets warm, and you would end up putting it into the beaker. You get a scrubby from the side here. We have a, oh. Um, those are the, the test tube scrubbies. We have a couple of scrubbies here, so I like this one for the big um, items here. So you would go in, scrub that down. Um, I'm not going to do that on camera. And at the very end, what you would do is put, uh, rinse it out with the tap water, and then you would rinse it out completely and thoroughly 
with DI water, all right? So that doesn't mean you fill it up entirely with DI water. All you do is just spray the outsides and make sure that all of the contents goes and gets the inside of those walls and the bottom, and then you pour it out. You'd be done then, and you can put it so that it's upside down like these, uh, these pieces of glassware are on the rack here. And then when it's completely dry, you can then go ahead, take it back to where it's supposed to be. Again, we're in the prep room. And you put it in whatever shelf it's supposed to be in. That way we keep our glassware spotless and we want it spotless because if we have a residue on the inside of the glassware, then that could cause false results. You always wanna have clean glassware. All right, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye.